Hey friends, David here, and today I'm going to be giving you a very brief overview of the Hunix Secure Operating System Setup. If you've been reading my article on Medium, you know that Hunix is comprised of not one, but two different virtual machines or VMs. Now, I've already taken the liberty of downloading each of those VMs. One is called a gateway, one is called a workstation, and importing them into VirtualBox. Today, I'm not gonna show you how to download or import them. I'm gonna show you how they're used. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna power up the gateway VirtualBox of uh, Hunix. So I'm gonna click on that and choose start. And this gives me an option to either go with advanced or regular, and I'm gonna go with regular. And this is, what a Unix operating system looks like when it starts up. And in a moment, you're gonna see the graphical user, user interface or GUI. And we'll give that a second. By the way, this same thing happens on a Mac or a PC. Normally it's hidden and you can't see it unless you boot into a particular type of safe mode. And now you can see the GUI is loading and the Hunix gateway is starting to load the desktop software, and here it is. And it says we're already connected to Tor, and right now it's going to go ahead and check those uh, Tor connections, and it's also going to take care of any system updates. While it's doing that, I kind of want to show you what's on the desktop. The gateway is only responsible in Hunix for creating a connection to the outside world. That's all it does. It turns on Tor and it sets up a connection to the outside world. It has exactly two and only two purposes. Your workstation, and this is a second virtual machine, is where you'll do all of your work. Your workstation, and I'll move this over onto this screen and resize the window. Your workstation is where you'll surf the internet, check your email, and do all of the communication work you normally do. Here it's telling us that Hunix has corrected, it's checked for updates, and as you can tell by the green, everything is go. So far, everything is looking great. We'll click on OK. And right now, our gateway is up and running. It has secured a connection to the Tor network and it's ready for us to connect to it. At this point, we can just go ahead and minimize that window entirely. Here's the Hunix workstation. The workstation, as I mentioned, is where you'll do all of your work. The gateway is to be left alone. If you're not familiar with Debian, it's a lot like any operating system. You've got a shortcut window up here and you can go down and choose any of those particular things. If you wanna launch a particular application, they've preset shortcuts on the desktop, and if you roll over it, it will actually tell you what it is if you leave your mouse there. I've created a shortcut to the applications folder here on the desktop, but the truth is you don't need to do that. If you click down here, much like you would on a Windows box or in an Apple uh, operating system, there's a series of shortcuts that are all built in. And I'm scrolling through those now. So if you wanted to know what your applications were, well, here they all are. Hunix does not come with a lot of applications. Got to be honest with you, that's not one of the things it does well. However, what it does do well is it protects you. So let's go ahead and launch the Tor browser. I left that on the desktop. This is going to see what our IP address is, at least as Hunix is concerned. Now take a look at this number. It says that our IP address appears to be that number. And an IP address is simply an identification number that is unique to you when you're on the internet. And what I should show you is that that information 
is not actually the case for the computer that I'm on. In fact, the computer that I'm on has a wholly different network. And I'll show that to you now. You'll notice these numbers, which are known as a class C subnet, are very different from these numbers here. That means I'm being protected as I'm surfing on the internet. If someone were to spy on me, they would see this number, which doesn't actually correspond to my actual IP. And to give you an understanding as to how this works, let's go ahead and turn on a tour on our gateway. And I'll show you what that looks like. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do instead. I'm going to show you what the IP address is here. And there it is. As far as this computer is concerned, our internet address is completely different from the internet address on our gateway. So our IP address on the gateway is different than the IP address on the workstation, which is different than the IP address on the host computer. In this case, it's a Macintosh. Tor, as you can see, comes pre-equipped with HTTPS Everywhere, which is an excellent extension. I would also include uBlock Origin. That also comes pre-equipped on the Tails operating system. Tor Browser is a build of Firefox. If you've ever used Firefox, then you know you can use the same thing here. And right now, anything that I do online, I'm going to be doing anonymously and securely while on my actual computer. I'm on a physical computer, but I'm running this operating system in virtual mode. And because it has its own separate IP address, it protects me from all that I am doing online. And because I'm using the Tor network for web browsing, for email, and for chat, all of my data is going to be extremely hard to get to. So as I mentioned, Hoonix does not come with a lot of software. What it does come with includes the Tor browser, a console application, a security software for encrypting your data, HexChat, which is an internet chat protocol, and it also comes with an email program, which I think is okay. It's not great, but it does the job. It just takes a little bit of problem to set up. It's called Ice Dove. And here's what it would look like if you wanted to log into Ice Dove and set it up. I'm not a fan. I'd go with Thunderbird personally, but there you go. We've got two virtual machines running side by side. One is your gateway. All it does is provide a secure tunnel to the internet. The other is your workstation. And here's where you're going to do all of your work. And all of that takes place while I'm on an actual physical computer running the Macintosh operating system. Your host may be Windows. Your host may be Ubuntu Linux. You get the idea. In any case, that is your brief overview. I hope you've liked it. And keep on keeping on.